Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. And now that we've saved the Chancellor, and we got uh, a since we got a star piece now, we're gonna keep going. Also, I think I looked at the map before, probably. Uh, but now let's go ahead and see what else we can do in town. I think I want to talk to the Grey Toad again. I'm pretty sure. Now that things are back to normal. Doesn't seem like the princess is that far away. I can almost feel her presence. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know why he says that, but it's, it's a thing. He says so. I'm just going to quickly check. Okay, he's just standing guard, so we can't go in there anymore, so. Uh, but anyway. Let's keep looking around. We also want to go to the shop now that we have everything that we need to from before. Since we got the special frog coin back. Let's talk to the, the shopkeeper. Hey, Mallow. What kept you? I was dying to worry. Hey, mister. I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing you, I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? Got a cricket pie. You bet. Mari, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. So now we can leave the shop. We probably want to also save as well, because I don't think I've done that yet. So let's do that. And now we can go to the next area. It also shows how many stars... We have. It shows that we have a star piece on the profile. I'll remain on lookout. Here on lookout. Thanks, Toad. I believe in you. Okay, let's go to Kerry Sewers, which is a new part of the world. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for Bellome, or whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. Well, here we go. Also, I think we just need to tap down on this pipe to go down. As long as you're not pressing any other buttons, that is, so. There's also a save point here, which I probably could have just ignored the other save point then. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look around. Whoop. Just swimming around, I, there's a, I didn't see the walls there, we can, because we're up a little bit higher than the edge of the world there, but that's because the we're in the water, which makes us a little bit higher. I think we can't get out of the water unless we have something underneath us just below the water to jump out of, so. Uh, but anyway, read directions on how to enter? I think I already know. Stand on the pipe and push down on the control pad. If you're pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not uh, be able to enter. To re-enter a pipe, jump off it once and try again. It's pretty simple, but anyway. It, it needs a little bit of exp explanation to how, how it works, so. Ah, uh, now. I think we want to go this way. Based of, on what my notes say. Just look around. There's a lot of enemies here. Which, I think some enemies here can inflict poison, which causes a small amount of damage each turn. You get cured after a fight, though, which is good for it, because any, any status will be cured after a fight, which is good. Uh, we could also use Able Juice to get rid of it. And some enemies run from fights if there is only one left, so... Or well, just... Not gonna win. Once again, means we can attack again, so let's do that. Pretty sure I explained that last time, but that's fine. We haven't actually seen one of those, I don't think, which is the main thing. Some enemies also inflict sleep, which causes our character to be unable to fight until they wake up. So now is probably a good time to actually equip the wake-up pin to Mario for now. Also, the each... like the... these things actually have different stats on them to show as well, so... Uh, but anyway, I think I want to continue over this way. If I can not fall into another fight. Oh, hello. That's a ghost. <laughs> it's a straight-up ghost. Uh, let me take you out. I don't even know who to attack right now. It's fine. They might be able to inflict fear, possibly, the ghost that is. I'm not sure, actually. I'll need to fact check that, but I, I don't know. Probably not, actually. It's probably fine. I don't think fear is going to be a big thing at the moment. Uh, but anyway, I think I want to go down this pipe. And look around here. There's uh, quite a few enemies that will pop out from nowhere to fight us. But anyway, there's a block here, which I need to figure out where I am right now. Uh, but anyway, let's hit this, because this is an enemy. 
This is the Pandorite. I think I know what I'm up to. Uh, so, whenever we... Yeah, <laughs> this is a... It, it has... A, it, yeah. It uses fire and has a, a move called Carny Kiss, which is very strong. For this point in the game, that is. Uh, but it shouldn't be too far... Too, too hard to fight it, so... Let me just take it out, if I can. This is a very... Just, this is just an interesting enemy to me. As we're fighting basically a mimic. Kind of. Let's keep taking you out. You can actually see that's inside the treasure chest. Okay. I don't think we could do anything better in this fight right now. Hopefully. I might want to heal, actually. Now it's getting a bit low. No, I'll be fine for a little bit longer. Ow. Oh my goodness. Ow. Um, let me just keep fighting. It's probably fine. Melo, please heal Mario, please. I beg you. You're not that strong compared to Mario at the moment for some reason. But it's fine. Flame wall. Which I think hits everyone, so that's actually not good for Mallow. But we can last a little bit longer, so let's keep going. And there we go. For defeating, uh, the Pan Pandorite, we get the True Form Pin. Which is very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, you won't be turned into Mushroom or Scarecrow, so this is, uh, two more effects that we haven't actually come across yet, but they'll be useful. Mushrooms and Scarecrows. Which, you know, those are two things you can get turned into, which basically means you can't do regular attacks. Or, like, you can't do anything, basically, as the mushroom. Anyway, if we go down this pipe here, we actually end up in a different place here. Which I don't know if this is where I want to be right now. It might be, actually. Uh, let me... Ah, uh, maybe not. Hang on. Let me fight this... this boo. Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm here. I didn't put enough spaces into my notes, and it makes things difficult to see where I'm up to. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Uh, let's see. I might try taking out the shadow. Just gonna focus. Just like that. Very nice. Lucky! If you get, get lucky, it means that you can have a chance to either... I mean, it's a very random chance, basically, but there's a little mini-game you get to do to get more XP or money, depending on what it asks you about. After a fight, that is, so... Because we got lucky, want to double your coins? Charge the system, win big or lose it all. I'll do it. So we need to keep our eye on the Yoshi. And the three eggs. And I think it's in this one. No, it's not. We, if we tie, we just get the coins that we were going to get. If we get wrong, we get no coins. If we get it right, we get double the coins we would have had. But it, it really doesn't matter that much for coins. It's a lot more important when it comes to... Uh, XP because it can give you double XP. Anyway, this pipe takes us back to the beginning, so I think I actually probably want to go back again to the other room which we we're exploring. Also, I don't think we're supposed to be able to jump from here to here, but you, but that's what I normally do, so or what I have have done in the the practice run of this. Poison! Oh no, Mario doesn't have poison immunity. That's okay. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't know what I want to do, but I think I'd probably, probably best take out the shadow. Since the rats might run away. Taking the shadow is probably a good plan. Okay. Very nice. Let's take out these enemies. 60, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. It's twice Mellow's damage, basically. Okay. Now, there's an item block here with a flower in it, so that, that's good for us. Get an extra point of FP, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. There's also a lot of these enemies that pop out along here that we can jump over if we know where to jump. Uh, but anyway, let's go down this pipe here, which is important. Mainly... Mainly because I believe this block is a star power. So let's take out these enemies here for some XP. Probably want to take out this boo here as well. I don't know where else to go. Oh, it ran out, so it's fine. Uh, anyway, I don't know if there's a better way to use that star power, but anyway, let's go down this pipe here, maybe. 
Uh, this is back in the room where we came over to the left for, so... Here. Uh, go back, please. Uh, but anyway. Uh, let me see where I'm- where- I need to figure out where I'm in the game and my notes. There's also an item that can drop from enemies called Pure Water, and it defeats ghosts in a wink. Where it, a, a blink, I think is what it's supposed to be, but I mean wink works fine as well. Uh, whenever you use Pure Water on a ghost enemy, it just defeats them instantly, so. Uh, but anyway. I think I want to actually take a different way now. I don't know if I've gone down this way. No, this is the rat room, right. I just went through here. Also, I think I missed a step somewhere. Oh yeah, we can actually uh, jump into this water here and explore down here because this this takes us over to the left if we went the wrong way. Uh, but there's also a pipe down there that we can see. Also, cheap cheap that wants to fight me apparently. Let's take you out. If I can heal at some point, that'd be pretty good. Mal is a bit low, and it's getting lower by the second. I just don't know if I want to heal immediately, because he doesn't have more than 30 HP yet. It's fine. Uh, I'll heal him, why not? I have some items for it, so... I have a, a, a item. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, goodbye. No, he does have more than 30 HP. What am I- am I crazy? I might- I'm just crazy, okay. Uh, anyway, we can also swim around some of these areas by going through the entrances around. And, I mean, we can go basically all the way over here to the beginning room. I'm pretty sure this is the beginning room. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's take you out. Just like that. Nope, not quite. Goodbye. Okay, so... There's also some something else I want to show really quick. If I can. I guess I'll use this rat here. So, because we haven't really done this for a while, so that's a new enemy. Uh, but if we go to B, the etc page, pa 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 thing, and run away from a fight, for a little bit, that enemy we can actually stand on top of its head. But it's only a little bit of time. But this could be useful. So. Uh, now, let me take you out for real this time. 58, very nice. Uh, let me go for the hobgoblin, is that what it- I, th I think that's what it's called. Elegy. Oh, I think I can put us to sleep, possibly. Possibly? Or not, okay. Uh, I don't- well, unless he was using it on Mari, then Mari had the wake-up pins so that didn't work, possibly. There we go. HP max, very nice, that was actually quite helpful for Mario. Okay. Pure water, there we go. Now we can take out some ghosts. Okay, level 6, which Mario learns Super Jump for. I think... I think power is the thing that needs to increase the moment. Hang on, I need to check my notes. Which level is this? 8? No. 6. 6 is power. I was right about power. It's fine. Yeah, because it increases by 2. Cool. Uh, now... Let me find my- I lost my place in my notes, it's fine. It's all fine. Anyway, we need to go over this way. Guess I'm gonna fight this enemy as well. Oh, there he goes. I think that this, um... Hobgoblin is possibly a ghost enemy? Let me try using pure water on it. Yep, you're gone. <laughs> cool. Maybe that just works on every enemy, and I just never tried it on anything other than a ghost. Able juice, thank you very much. Uh, but anyway, from over going over this way, we actually get to another pipe, so let's go down. There's a few things we can do here. Uh, mainly we want to hit the switch here. The water has been drained. Uh, but there's also this spring here. That sends us... somewhere else, apparently. I don't... Oh, is this actually the exit? This might just be the regular exit to the world. Why did it send me there? That's weird. I don't think we want to use that spring. <laughs> I don't- I don't know why we- I use that spring, actually. 
Ah, uh, but it might be a good idea to save. So let me actually do that. Because I'm going to be doing some things that you're not supposed to. Which will make things different. Uh, but anyway, let's go down this pipe. Make our way back through. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but now that we drained the water, which didn't actually stay done, apparently. Hang on. Which way did I go to drain the water? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, maybe... No, it's just that one way. I, I need to go back. Hang on. Also, I could jump out of the water for some reason. It's fine. I'm going to run from this fight so I can get back to where I was up to. So don't, don't use the spring, apparently. That's a trap. Kind of. Okay. Okay. You can just dodge a lot of the enemies, so... Uh, but anyway, let's hit the switch again now. Okay. It's activated. Now the water in here is gone, so we can actually go down this pipe over here. And I think I am set for the moment. Probably. Uh, but anyway, there's a few items here. Let me get this. Mushroom. I'm going to leave that block up there for a while. There's also a save point here, which is good. Let me actually do that, because this, this, is the, this is where we want to save. Just to make sure we don't lose our progress in a second here. But because we can actually jump on top of enemies after running from a fight, if we go over here and get you to move, do the thing. Let me run away. Come on, run away. Nope, couldn't run. Also, the, the timing on the booze to try and dodge their attack is difficult. Okay, run away. If we now jump on top of you, though, we can actually get up to this pipe, which we're not supposed to get to for a long time. This is a dead end, so it's best to, tur to turn back now. Oh, that enemy is strong compared to us, like very strong. If it touches us, we are in trouble, so let's just grab that mushroom that we're not supposed to get, but we're going to leave that for now. We could also jump to get that block up there, which I could get that now, and it would make it would be alright, but I'm just going to leave it for later, just to show stuff. Uh, but anyway... Gotta get into a fight, apparently. Do I have... No, I don't. This is all the items I have. I need a lot more items than this. I'm in trouble. The more enemies there are in a fight, the hard harder the fight is gonna be, so... You probably don't want to get into a fight with lots of enemies. Just because the more of them there, there are, the more turns they get. Oh, they just used fear. They just inflicted fear. On Mario. Poor Mario. Let's get rid of you. And you, if I can. Thank you. Mal, it's actually doing pretty good against these ghosts. Oh my goodness, poor Mario. Getting completely stuck in the fear. I wonder if I should switch a few things around. Also, didn't I get the fearless pin? I'm pretty sure I got the fearless pin, but I don't think... Hang on, am I crazy? Hang on. Let me check my equipment. No, I... Don't. But also, I just said that, that there's a there's, there's a pin that we can get. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to go there. Uh, anyway, it's boss time. But also, we probably want to switch out our stuff. So let's go ahead and. I think I want the true form pin for somebody. I think it. I want it on Mario. And maybe. Uh, actually, it's probably all right like that right now, so. Let's go with this. It's, it's also definitely wanted. It's definitely good to save as well before ent entering this fight, but I also think I'm alright. Th this must be Balome. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Moho ho! Ark! It's a snack attack, and you're it! So, first of all, I don't think we want to use magic attacks. Possibly fire is okay, or jump. But it's fine. Just don't use thunder is the main thing, so. Let's do some attacks. Also, I'm apparently I'm less leveled than I was the first time coming through here in uh, practice. Room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Oh, he's... he's strong. But let's try and keep hitting him, if I can. Let 
Okay. There's really not much to this fight other than just attacking it for the moment. Okay. Can't stand it! The hunger, the hunger! And he eats Mallow. So that's the thing. Need to get Mallow out of there. Might be even worth using some magic. Or some special moves. Although it costs a lot to use Mario's special moves apparently, so... Uh, I'll use Super Jump. Which is a stronger version of Mario's regular jump, so... But we can also keep pressing the Y button to keep bouncing as well, so... That's also pretty good. We can do a ton of damage like this. 130, very nice. Stick for a body. Head full of straw, give me a scarecrow, rah rah rah. Scarecrow funk, which would turn Mario into a scarecrow, but we've got the true, true form pin on, which means it won't work. But with this in scarecrow form, Mario can't do much. Like, not at all. I think he can block, basically, is what he can do. Ah, uh, maybe he can use... I think he can use special, if it's something specific. That was scary! Get, got Mallow back, at least, as well. Ah, uh, so let's keep hitting him. That wasn't a lot. Sleep Source, which, which would probably send Mallow to sleep. I think he's actually got... Yeah, I probably should have given him the wake-up pin. He's drowsy now, so... Ah, uh, let's use Super Jump again. It's gonna use most of our FP, but that's okay, because it's pretty strong. Very nice. 130 again. I think there's, that's, there's actually a limit to how many times you can jump on him, so... Or jump on an enemy, so... If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. Okay. Well, we won, so... I don't know what he's on about. Get 40 coins and 15 XP. Pretty good. Mallow levels up to level 6. I can't remember what he's supposed to get, but he gets Psychopath. Which is a special move that will tell you how much health an enemy has, so... Let me see... Uh... That's a good increase, isn't it? That's pretty good. Hang on. Level is divisible by 3 pick power. Yes. Do that. I, I remember how the rules of the game work. Uh, now, let's go... Bellin must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hate hear something, or is it just me? Water! Here it comes! Quick, Mario, hit the button before it wash it, we're washed away! Well, here we are. <laughs> this is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Yes, I do. You'll start off uh, uh You'll start off first at the falls. Use the D-pad to con to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. To swim against the flow is what he's saying. Against the uh, along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just have we'll just keep that as a surprise. Now off you go. Oh, here we go. Let's try and grab some of these coins. There are also frog coins to grab along the way here, so we probably want to grab those if we can. Ah, uh, but we also need to be careful where we go, because there are also... ...some caves around that you can see, like that one down there. This this cave here. Oh, fell into the cave. We can also get hit and lose some coins in the cave, so we need to be careful, but there can also be some rewards for us for going into the cave sometimes. But for the most part, we probably want to just avoid them, probably. Especially if we want to get, if we want to get the coins, so... But anyway, there's a spring here to push us back into the main area. I guess we'll head down then, some more. Get this frog coin down here. Go left or right, I'm gonna keep just going desk this way. Another cave, I, well, I missed the cave, so I guess I'm not going into there. Oh, another frog coin, let me grab that. We also wanna grab as many coins as possible along the way, so. Let's keep doing that. I think there might be, if I'm not mistaken, Oh, I don't know if I- yeah, I wanted to go the other way. Please. Thank you. <laughs> that was close. I want the coin. I'm not sure if it's better to mash or just time your button presses to swim against the river to try and get somewhere. But anyway. 
Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. If you want to. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it works like you're... looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. I'm terrible at this portion. I almost forgot to tell you. Leap over the fish that pop out of... out, or you'll lose coins. So if we get hit by... the fish, we'll get... we'll lose coins. Uh, but also if we change paths, we'll have a different number of coins to get. Uh, and if we crash into a barrel while we're trying to jump, we'll also be beast out of balance as well, so... I'm really bad at this section, specifically. Let's grab some more coins. Now oh, I should have jumped to the next one. I'm, I almost got hit by the fish there. I shouldn't- I always do it when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> and... Y you know, you know what I mean. I'm just- I'm just so bad at this part. We can't really see how many coins there are in front of us. But still, even so. Okay, that's fine. Just need to not lose my coins. This is a shame. These coins also don't count as normal coins, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because they are for a specific purpose. Okay, keep grabbing coins. Getting close to the end now. There we go. Oop, hello. Wasn't that fun? You got 55 coins. Trade the coins you got for frog, uh, from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. Uh, I didn't get enough frog coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are, uh, the green ones, and Tadpole Ponds got more info on them. You got 55 coins, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold on to them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. And he gives us a knock-knock shell. That's actually pretty good. Uh, but anyway, because the knock-shell knock shell is a new weapon for Mario, which is a shame because Mallow needs a weapon at some point. Uh, but let's equip that. It's pretty good. It's my favorite kind of uh, weapon for Mario, I would say. Uh, but anyway. When Mario kicks it is when you need to press A again to do more damage. Uh, we can play the minigame as many times as we want by pre paying the code 30 coins per time. And every time we get enough coins, we, he'll give us some frog coins, so... This is... this is something you can just do to get frog coins if you want to, so... Ah, uh, but I think I'm done here for now, so let's go on... ...into the next area. Tadpole Pond. I'll stand on this rock... ...and... Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balome, right? Wow, news does travel fast. You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us, to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Let's jump. Frog Fucius. Well, Grasshopper Hopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. He's being held up by a... Lakitu. Welcome! So you are Mario, yes? I am Frog Fucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I have been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along, and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. 
That's amazing. Tadpoles, don't just float there, make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. So now we just need to hold in the direction we want to go and jump. And we'll just jump automatically between them. And there we go. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, you... Ah, uh, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Oh. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him. And just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and, the, and saw a huge sword split the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now... You're worried about the princess, but you. But first, you need to make need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are are, are wrecking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a visual, a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, I'm good. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them make uh, Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany, accompany Mario on his adventure too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy. My boy. I've kept this from you f until now, but you're not a tadpole. Say what? I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets. Also, yes, this is where this song comes from, if you've not heard it before. When I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls, I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. Let's also talk to him again. <laughs> It'll be quiet around here with Malagon. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I had forgotten about all about it. I, I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. I shall, I shall have the staff. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. And so finally, finally, 
Mallow gets his first weapon. Finally. Now we can actually do more damage to stuff, so... But anyway, I think that's it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.